Hello and welcome to this not so terrifying Halloween edition of the Games Radar Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Louise and this is Leon. Hello? Where are you? Paris Games Week. We, we talked about this. Well, I mean, you weren't there and I didn't say anything loud, but... You need to be here. You need to be back here for the new show. Now. Right now. Now. Alright. Hello, and coming up in this week's Paris Games Week flavoured news milkshake. Xbox One finally gets a date for backwards compatibility. Everything you need to know about Uncharted 4's multiplayer mode. And will PS1 and 2 classics be coming to PS4's 4.0 update? It was all about PlayStation at Paris Games Week, so it's quite the coincidence that Microsoft's Major Nelson casually revealed a date for Xbox's much-anticipated backwards compatibility feature. Yep, you'll be able to play select Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One come November the 12th's update. And select is the word. The list isn't huge, but will expand as all future 360 games with gold titles will be backwards compatible. Anything digital you already own will appear in the ready-to-install bit of your Xbox One menu, but for any physical games you'll have to use your disc to activate a compatible download. And Major Nelson better start worrying about taking an arrow to the knee because there's only one game that everyone wants. I just want Skyrim, that's it. Ron Dorney. I need Skyrim on this list. Hamad Aklak. Skyrim. Chad Miller. Skyrim. Jonathan Batimo. Skyrim. 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 Morozio Lanos on Facebook says, I had to sell my Xbox 360 a few years ago and I didn't get to play all the games I wanted. Now I have the chance on my Xbox One. I really appreciate this feature. Well, that's probably the most positive comment we've ever had. Well, it's definitely something worth making a fuss Roda. about. In other news, Until Dawn Rush of Blood is a VR exclusive standalone game that puts you on a terrifying roller coaster ride. Street Fighter V will Dalsim added to the roster is coming to PS4 on February the 16th. And Gran Turismo Sport will have a beta next year with some seriously noisy cars and VR sport. Now let's see what Leon made of his hands on with Drake's latest multiplayer mode at Paris Games Week. Uncharted 4's multiplayer continues much as you'd expect from the series, all the cast running around taking pot shots at each other between quips. It transfers all the character of the main game smoothly into the deathmatch mode I've played, although there are some pretty hefty changes in the form of the new mystic and sidekick abilities, and the inclusion of the new rope swinging mechanic. These add new tactics but also mean you have to kiss reality goodbye as you summon a 9 foot gold statue filled with angry ghosts from the ground to attack your enemies. There are 5 mystics in total, although only 3 have been announced so far. Uncharted 1's El Dorado statue can be called in to create those enemy attacking spirits, Uncharted 2's Sintamani Stone acts like a reviving buff, and the Jin ability lets you teleport around the map in wreaths of flame and an upgraded melee attack. The abilities are unlocked with the cash you earn during a match and add an extra tempo to the action as the more powerful abilities cost more and usually get deployed later. One mechanic that swung over from the single player is Nate's Rope. In the multiplayer it can be deployed with a tap of L1 over crevices or drops for a very loose swinging system. The prompts don't feel overly clear right now, leaving you relying more on trust that it'll work as you hurl yourself forwards, but have a little faith and it's quite a nice feeling to swing into the air, especially if you can land a powerful melee attack as you land. If you want to know more about Uncharted 4's multiplayer mode, you can read the full preview on Games Radar. Coming up next, what we might be getting from Sony's next big PS4 update. Yep, Sony's rumoured survey mentions things like potential PS1 and 2 classics on PS4, the ability to change your PSN ID, custom backgrounds and folders, the ability to appear online, and removing unwanted items from your library. Indeed, goodbye Destiny 2014 beta. The survey mentions firmware 4.0 and suggests a range of release dates from this year right through to 2017, and while it's unverified, it hasn't stopped you lot getting very excited. Yep, Jake Mabe on Facebook says what we're all thinking. Is it strange that I'm more excited about PS and name changes than backwards compatibility, I have a PS3 that can play PS1 and 2 games, but holy hell, I hate the screen name I came up with back in 2006. Yeah, shiny demons, don't you just hate that? Shut up, Leon Hurley. That's my actual name. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, Connor Duff Patterson has his priorities totally straight. Can't wait to play Spiral the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot again. It's been ages. Adam Seema, on the other hand, raises an interesting point, saying, how about some PS3 backwards compatibility, thanks? Hmm, well, we'll just have to see what the giant pumpkin brings us this Halloween. That's, that's not a thing. Okay. Well, that's it for this week's show. Join us next time for some more tricks and treats. And if you've got any questions, bury them alive in the comments below. You can find us on the Games Radar news stream. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. So keep your eyes literally peeled. And let us know what you'd like us to feature next time. See you next week. Bye.